all right so in this video we are going to start working with uh, you know, saving videos into playlist we will call the you know individual video items inside a playlist as playlist entry okay because I can't call them videos it doesn't make sense because I'm not storing videos anywhere okay so I have playlists I will have playlist entry okay um, so first things first I'll create a model with migration which is play list entry okay now in this particular case I'll need some relationships going on as well so first of all let's close everything and have our playlist entry migration in place what do we need in here we'll need an unsigned integer playlist ID one more for user ID And one video ID okay that is handled and then playlist entry guarded is empty now let's say what all migration uh, relations do we need the playlist entry should have a relation which is playlist obviously so we'll have playlist and so this a playlist entry belongs to a playlist okay I think I don't need a foreign key but just to be you know, safe and although it is not required but if you see see a playlist has will have a mapping with you know playlist entry so I can get the user ID but uh, you know how it is I can you know show whether this particular video is in the users library or not so I'll need at that time a user ID column for that particular entry right so that's why I'm keeping that user uh, entry uh, for each playlist entry as well although I have have it in my playlist table and so I'll have a relation for that so I'll have uh, so a playlist entry again belongs to a user okay and that's the relation by this um, now when we have done this we will also need to ensure that our playlist has that particular relation so we'll come over here and have entries now this has many playlist entry okay and how does that translate so what it will do is in the playlist entry table it will look for playlist ID and it will understand that okay you know this particular playlist has those many entries okay and obviously I'll keep a user here as well again this belongs to a playlist belongs to a user obviously it is user ID all right so um yeah i think that's all about it let's do migration we'll have the table oh i shouldn't have done that i have cleared the database and <laughs> i'll have to make one more so okay test i have a table oh, sorry an entry let's go to tinker oops 
dollar pl equals playlist find one okay now if we see i can do a width entries and it will have an empty object obviously because you know, there is no entry but i can do dollar pl entries entries and then i think uh, function and if i do create oops so playlist id is going to be dollar pl id and then user id let's have it two and what do we have else video id i can see this is in the video which i want in the playlist i think this should work oh no a four digit year could not be found data missing what hmm okay we will do it in the controller let's see i'm not able to get that um so i'll create a controller i wonder why that was you know giving me such a problem um, controller play list entry controller okay and in here i'll need only one method which is store get the validation first okay what all things do i need i will have to send the video id i'll do that so it will be required okay and then i'll need the play list id required plus it should exist inside my uh, it should exist in the playlists table and the column which we are looking at right now is id okay this ensures that we have validated the existence of that playlist video obviously we don't want so the entire validated data will be inside an array which is data then i'll pull up the playlist playlist dot find data uh, data playlist id right okay i will find it because you know i have done this so i am you know assured that i don't need to do a find or fail or anything like that i'll get the playlist entry if it comes till here okay and then dollar entry equals dollar playlist uh entries this is where our tinker was failing uh now it should pass i think so i have user underscore id which will be request user id i have play list id which will be in my case playlist id and video id okay once the entry is made i will return the response status code 201 okay and now let's see whether it will work or not 